What's up, gang? I am so excited to bring another video to you guys. This is going to be like a full comprehensive, just like what is law of attraction? How do we actually apply it? How do you make it work for you? channel. I run videos mostly on law of attraction, definitely some videos on faith and Christianity and things like that. Sometimes how those intersect, which can be a really interesting subject. Um, sometimes just in general, entrepreneurialism, business savvy, mentality, you know, kind of a little bit of mental toughness, motivation. That's kind of the categories here. And so if you're excited about learning more about those categories, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're somebody who's watched my videos before, you probably heard me say some of this stuff that I'm going to go over in, in bits and pieces in various videos, but I just wanted to make like one video that took a lot of the things that I've learned about law of attraction over the course of the last, you know, handful of years and put it all in one so we can like go over, okay, what is law of attraction? How do I use it? How do I make it work for me? First off, what is law of attraction? Law of attraction is like attracts like. When you think a thought, it actually produces a frequency or a vibration and the universe will respond with like vibration. So what you're thinking produces a vibration. And by the way, everything that I'm saying is absolutely 100% scientifically proven that your mind produces a frequency that affects its surroundings. That is absolutely proven through tests. This is not theory, this is science. So as you put out a thought and that goes out and it's created vibration, then the universe brings you back like situations, people, events, etc., that give you that same vibration. Like attracts like. So pretty simple concept, right? The issue with why sometimes people will say it doesn't really work for me or I tried it or, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, focus on something, I'm not getting it, is because what most people tend to do is when they think they're focusing on something that they want, they're actually focusing on the lack of it. They're actually focusing on what they don't want. So for example, if I really want a lot of money and I, so I'm trying to focus on money. When I'm trying to focus on money, I might actually be thinking about the lack of money. I'm trying to focus on having money, but I'm thinking about, oh, but I don't have any money, but I want to have money, but I want to have money. It would be so nice to be over there, but I'm here and I don't have money. That is going to block the positive vibration. I'm actually sending out vibrations that say, I don't have money, I don't have money, I don't have money. And so I'm going to keep getting back things that make me say and feel, I don't have money. Same thing like a new car, right? You want a new car, you think about, I just want a new car, it'd be so nice to have a new car. But every time you get in your car, it, it kind of upsets you, it makes you feel bad, it makes you feel frustrated, it makes you feel like you don't have a new car, you can't wait till that new car, and it doesn't feel good, right? So you're not actually putting out vibrations for a new car, you're actually putting out vibrations for more of, I have my crappy car, give me more of my crappy car. So what's really important to understand when you're actually implementing law of attraction is to monitor how you feel right so if there's kind of a fine line between thinking about something that you do want and then thinking about the lack of having the not having the lack of having something that you do want then it's how do i pay attention to that right it's how you feel if you feel good to any degree you are thinking about what you want and you're going to bring into your existence more things that make you feel good like that and if you feel bad to any degree, frustrated, annoyed, worried, um, pessimistic, then you are thinking about the lack. It is how you feel and you are putting out more vibration that is gonna give you back more lack. So monitor how you feel. Okay, so that's like law of attraction in a nutshell. So what I wanna cover next is I wanna cover five ways that we can really make law of attraction work for us. Five ways that you can make law of attraction work for you. 
But here's, here's the deal. It's always working, right? It's like gravity. You don't have to pay attention to it in order for it to work. Law of attraction is working. It's got you to where you've gotten so far. But how do you make it more work for you in the way that you want it to, right? That's what we want to answer here. So number one, as you can probably guess from what we just explained, number one is focus on feeling good now. Like that's literally, it has to be number one because that is literally your number one objective at all times. You have to just feel good now. You have to feel good with whatever you're doing. If you're driving to work and you don't feel like driving, you gotta make it fun. If you're at work and you don't really like what you're doing for work, you gotta feel good. You don't feel like doing something today and you're doing it, you have to make it fun. You have to feel really good as much as humanly possible. I think of something that's kind of mundane for my life is like putting my son to bed. I enjoy it, right? But when you do it every night, <laughs> and it's like such a process, right? Parents can kind of like probably relate to me a little bit. On your average Tuesday night, you know, it doesn't naturally give me a ton of excitement or fun or something like that. So I go into that type of task and I just make it as fun for myself as humanly possible, right? I have two choices with how I think. I can either be like, all right, kid, we gotta go to bed again. Like, can we go a little bit faster this time versus last time? Like, come on, all right, fine, here we go. All right, I'll read you your story. Which is kind of mentally what we wanna do and what we might be in the habit of doing, but it has to be so fun. It has to be, I'm so excited to do this. I'm so excited for, and whatever the silver lining is, right? Obviously in this case, it's spending time with somebody, but you know, there's always a silver lining. Like you have to go in and genuinely make whatever task it is, whatever day it is, whatever situation it is fun. So that that way you are feeling good now, because when you're feeling good now, you're bringing good into your life. Like if you feel positive now, you're bringing more things that make you feel positive. And then in 10 minutes from now, if you still feel positive, then you're bringing more things in your life that make you feel positive. And then in 30 minutes from now, you get the idea. Okay, number two, number two, do not focus on the how. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna think about the fact that you really wanna have a new car and you're like, I'll think about having the new car, a great explanation, I won't think about the lack, I'll just think about having, I'm good. But what you'll naturally go to is, but how can I get that new car? It doesn't really seem possible because my income would really have to rise in order to afford that car. And I don't really see how that's possible because I'm not up for a promotion. And in fact, the job market, right? Like, I mean, you're gonna think of the how and you're gonna go right back into, it's actually really hard to do this. Do not think about the how, how this thing is gonna come about, irrelevant, does not matter. No, you're not even going to know the how. You're not even going to be able to think about a how. There are so many hows in my life that have happened to me that I, I could have never imagined that that would have been the way. One time I was trying to manifest more money. I got a flat tire literally the next day. I just pretended like it was the best situation in the whole world. I literally felt so good about it. If you were like in my head, you would have thought it was like totally insane. And then the next day I went to the dealership to get the new tire on. And they told me that the flat tires that I had gotten in the previous year, had gotten a couple, don't judge, um, that my tires were actually under warranty and they never should have charged me in the first place. And I got a $1,200 check for re re a refund for tires, like from years ago. So I, my point is you don't know that how the money is gonna come in or how the car is gonna come in or how the whatever is going to come in. So don't even focus on the how, don't even do it. Number three, if you have a lot of resistance in an area, don't even focus on that. So let's say you're really trying to manifest more money, but money is a stressor for you. When you think about money, you do not feel good because of years of built up resistance and stress and worry. Then don't think about money. Think about how much you love something else. Think about how much this makes you feel good. Think about how much that makes you feel good. Something that is much more stress free will allow the money to come in because I don't need to focus on more money to get more money. The universe is not necessarily always that specific to a T. If more money makes me feel good, I'm going to get more situations, events, people, etc., in my life that make me feel good. That could definitely be more money. I just gave you an example where I manifested more money at the same time. It could just be other situations and people and places and events and stuff like that that make me feel good. So if I need more money, but money is a stressor and it's tough for me to feel good around that subject, 
Don't think about that at all. As best as you possibly can, rather than trying to focus on it. If you try to focus on it and you create a, and you think about a lot of lack of money, you'll get lack everywhere. And if you think about other things that make you feel good and you feel good about that, maybe you feel really, really good about a vacation coming up. Maybe you feel really, really good about, you know, um, a painting that you did recently. Maybe you feel really, really good about time that you spent with a family member recently. And you think about how happy that made you feel. And you think about that and that and that and that again, 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 each day, each morning for a little while. Okay, again, now I allow everything in because I am putting out vibrations that make me feel really, really good. So I allow in all things that make me feel really, really good. Number four, okay, every single morning, you gotta do this. I started doing this at the beginning of this year. I've done it absolutely every single day, but literally like this has changed my ability to manifest good things in my life immensely is every single morning, I wake up in the morning and I meditate for 15 minutes. It's the very first thing that I do, like get out of bed, go downstairs, go to the couch. Um, and then the very next thing I do is I spend 15 minutes writing in my gratitude journal. And just as much as I can, I fill up at least three pages, as much as I can, I just write everything that I'm thankful for and that I'm excited about, things like that. And what happens is it starts your day in the right headspace. Because if you wake up and there's a part of you that wants to go, oh, it's Wednesday, it's not yet Saturday, ah, it's Wednesday, oh, that's right, I have that outstanding email that I need, and then I check my phone, and then I got an email from somebody, you know, that I didn't like, you know, overnight or whatever, then you are starting off on the wrong path and it sets the tone for your entire day, it sets your mindset for your entire day, when you wake up and you start fresh like that after a good night's sleep, and then the first thing you do is meditation, and the second thing you do is a gratitude journal, it is just like nothing, it's like you put on your armor. You put on your armor, and no matter what happens, you feel so good, you know it's gonna be so good. It changes the whole day. Do this every day. Last thing on how to make law of attraction work in your favor is during times where you naturally um, kind of have your mind wander. Honestly, I think of driving. I do a lot of driving and driving used to be a time where I would just naturally get really frustrated. I would just worry about things. I would think about things a lot, right? When I'm driving and I would, I would naturally go towards worry and kind of fear. And what if this and uh, replay conversations in my head that I wish went differently. And you should have said that and stuff like that. Right? So you have to replace your thought process in those moments specifically absolutely put on an audio put on one like this put on other law of attraction type audios there are really good books out there like asking it is given by jerry and esther hicks it's actually free on youtube listen to that listen to things like that when you're when you're driving or whatever you're doing so that instead of going to that same place every time it's called a neural pathway in your brain where there's such deep grooves that your thought process just wants to fire that way every single time you will retrain your brain and create new neuro pathways so that you can actually have a totally different thought process where over time you play something to listen to every time you can eventually get in the car and you literally just think about positive and really, really good things during the entire drive just naturally, right? But replace, like don't just sit in you know silence or just music or just whatever, right? Replace and change your patterns, your thought process patterns, you know, right now. So guys, hopefully that was helpful. This is just like kind of a, a comprehensive, like all in one video of like what it is, what do we do about it? I mean, this is like a rabbit hole that you can go down and I've studied for a really long time and I certainly encourage you to do the same. But if you're just looking for something a little bit quick and you know, how do I apply kind of quickly and you know, make some changes and you know, see what I can create from that stuff. Hopefully this was really helpful and hopefully it was able to point out some areas where if you tried to use it to your advantage before where you might have messed up or gone a little wrong and that's okay right but like start some of these things today because we're living our lives anyway like we're living each day anyway we still have to like handle all the things that we have to handle anyway may as well make them more fun and work in our favor obviously really really worth it okay cool guys everybody have a great day thanks so much for watching my video and we'll see you guys on the next one bye gang